Both the relay and the four-way hazard switch are located in the lower center console. The switch is located just behind the gear shift indicated by the red arrow. If you are replacing the switch, do not try and pry it out from the panel from above. You will just damage the wood. The turn signal and hazard relays are located under the panel in front of the gear shift, yellow arrow. To replace either or both, you will need to remove the lower center console. While there are no visible forms of retaining the console in place, it's very easy to remove. Begin by setting the parking brake and putting the transmission in neutral. Next, open the ashtray and press down on the center clip, red arrow, until you can pull the tray all the way forward and out of the opening. Use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws at the back of the ashtray housing, red arrow. Pull the ashtray housing out. If your vehicle is optioned with an ashtray light, make sure to disconnect the electrical connection on the left side as indicated by the red arrow. Push the center panel a little forward, then lift it up, red arrow. With the front section up, slide the panel to the rear. There should be a small plastic stud that sits in an opening in the center console that you need to move it far back enough until it clears. Some vehicles may be missing this stud as lots have been broken off over the years by people not knowing it was there. Gently lift the panel up on one side and disconnect the window switches first, red arrow. This will then allow you more access to separate the other wiring connections. You can see in this picture that our project car panel is missing the stud, red arrow, that usually sits in the opening of the console, yellow arrow. With everything disconnected, simply push in gently on the tab on the back of the switch and then push the switch out through the top, blue arrow. With the cover panel removed, you can access the shift cover. The relay is just in front of this. Use a small flathead screwdriver and carefully pry out the shift cover light, red arrow. Next, use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the three 10 millimeter bolts holding the cover over the shaft. You do not need to completely remove the shaft and cover. Just lift the cover up and spin it out of the way. I only removed the cover to get a better picture. With the cover out of the way, you can access the relay, red arrow. Simply pull the relay straight out from the connection and insert the new one. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.